Somebody is crying out this morning. Lord, I need you. Lord, I ask you to hear my cry. Lord, I'm going through a crisis in which I've never been through before. And Heavenly Father, I don't know quite how to deal with it because it's my first time ever dealing with the crisis. Amen? You see, there are some things that we go through life that we never dealt with before. We have heard other people go through it. We have seen how bad, how nasty, how the outcome of these situations turn out. But Lord, this morning I'm coming to you, Lord, asking you, Lord, to be with me. Amen? Amen. Lord, hear my cry in my time of need. Lord, walk with me as I go through this crisis. Amen? Everybody has something to face in life. But just like I said, sometimes we have to learn from what other people go through. Like our parents, they may tell us a certain situation, a certain, when you get, when you're faced with that obstacle, this is what you should do. Amen? Sometimes it could be a situation where I know of several situations where I've heard them say, my parents say, my people outside my family may say, why are uh, you running around with that boy? Don't you know he ain't up to no good? We're all faced with some type of crisis or we have been through some type of crisis, amen? That's like a man that's for the first time, he's never been married, but he gives it a try. Amen? It could be the first time you ever been down that street of life, and now you're headed down that street of life, and you don't know quite how to handle it. Amen? There comes a time when you have to put your trust in Jesus. That's the time that you come and say, Lord, I'm waiting on you. Lord, I'm going to let you control my footsteps and my mind on this situation. I'm not going to lead, Lord, to my own understanding, but I'm going to wait on the Lord. Amen? Amen? How many times have we or we should have waited on the Lord and we didn't. And that situation turned out to be worse than what we thought it was going to be. Because we made the wrong decision. Bad choices. Amen? But I come to tell you this morning, wait on the Lord. Do not lean to your own understanding, but put your trust in the Lord. You see, you got to understand that we don't have the answers to everything. 
but he does. We don't know what the outcome is going to be, but Jesus knows. So I come to tell you this morning, my brothers and sisters, if there's a problem or some type of situation that you're going through, I come to tell you, wait on the Lord. I come to tell you, take it to the Lord in prayer. Take it to him and leave it in his hand. Don't go ask your neighbor next door. Don't go ask your brother or sister. But take it to the Lord in prayer. I won't be standing here before you long, but I want you to know that today is a good day. The Lord woke us up this morning, but he didn't have to do it, but he did. Amen. So I come to tell you, put it in the Lord's hand and let him work it out. Call on him and let him work it out. Don't try to do it by yourself. Amen. Don't listen to an outside person's advice. I come to tell you, Take it to the Lord in prayer. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord, I said. Stop trying to do things your way, but wait on the Lord. He already know what you're going through, Calvin. He already know what you're up against, Rob. He already know what you're up against, Raphael. Wait on the Lord. I come by to tell you this morning, Stop trying to do it your way, but wait on the Lord. Take it to the Lord in prayer. He already knows what we're going up through. He already knows what's happening ahead. All he wants you to do is call on him. Lord, I can't do this any longer. Lord, I gave it my best, and this is the outcome. So now, Lord, I'm asking you, you correct what I messed up. Lord, you take control over this. Whatever the outcome is, Lord, it got to be a good one because it can't be no worse than what it already is, you see. Things may look bad. But if you put it in God's hands, something good come out of a bad situation. Amen? So this morning, my brothers and sisters, wait on the Lord. Don't go asking your mama, your daddy, your sister, brother, well, what y'all think I should do? Put your trust in Jesus. He already knows what the outcome is going to be. And what's more, furthermore, he already knew that this situation was going to arrive. He already knew that you were going to be faced with this crisis. So now that this crisis has come to this point, put your trust in Jesus. Sometimes you have to Leave. Go ahead on with life. It's just like sometimes when someone dies. We lose a loved one, a mother, a father, a sister, a brother, a wife. It's a part of life. You got to know that God is going to carry you through. He's going to bring you through. You're here today and gone tomorrow. I understand that nothing lasts forever. Everybody is going to leave this earth. Ash, ash, dust to dust. Relationships are not made forever. But I put my trust in God that the outcome 
will be better than the fight. The outcome should be better than the pain and agony that you went through in the relationship. Amen? So therefore, I've come to understand <coughs> whatever happens is the Lord's will. Nothing lasts forever. Amen? Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord God, we come to you before you, Lord God, asking you, Lord God, to strengthen us. Mm -hmm.